check for advanced restart button it's available you can directly boot into recovery if you don't have that use the power button and volume button to boot into recovery use the latest orange fox recovery for redmi note 7 pro as you can see it's booted into orange fox recovery pitch black recovery can also be usable but i recommend to use this one latest one and go to this wipe section here and select dalvik as a system vendor and data and swipe here to wipe it later go to home section here again and select the file section wherever you downloaded the rom zip file firmware go there and first flash the firmware 12.5.1 violet in global this is the latest available firmware for redmi note 7 pro flash that later again go to home section here and select the rom zip file you can see here miui mind 12.5.7.0 flash it it takes a little bit of time guys as you can see the version 12.5.7.0 with under version 10 many people requested to make miui ported roms hence i am making miui custom roms here and wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully it took a lot more time compared to any other roms you should wait until it gets flashed again go to home section here and select this fcrypt disabler v3 either you can do format data also it up to you whichever you want you can do it again go to home section and select this menu here and select the reboot and select the system it takes a lot more time to boot for first time also that also you need to keep in mind miui mind edition 12.5.7.0 for redmi note 7 pro and in this video everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and it will get booted takes time and let's begin this video Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanafx Redmi Note 7 Pro Custom ROM Reviews. Here we go. It's MIUI Mind Edition 12.5.7.0. You can see here. Specs are also given. All specs. You can see Android version 10. This is how it is. If you want to use Android 10 based custom ROMs, MIUI based custom ROMs, many people are requesting about that. Here we go. This is the ROM. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and a second you can see here the maximum is 135 and average is 118 and minimum is 101 it's throttled to 83 percent of its max performance which is not that bad even let me increase a little bit of brightness here okay let me de de remove this auto brightness okay and coming to dialer also this is a MIUI standard dialer you will get in this room even the messaging app also and i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 even 98 also i have seen it's very good even with mobile internet also it's working fine no problem regarding that and while making call the earpiece also fine enough and you get this kind of anx camera i mean the MIUI camera with this particular rom you can see here everything is working fine even the 48 megapixel mode even video up to 4k 30 fps is available if you want something advanced like night light photography and astro photography then you can use g cams plenty of ports are available my recommendation is to go with arno build g cam for redmi note sample it will be very good if you use that and coming to drm info in this particular room you have mind edition 12.5.7.0 you get level one certification you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem here even the safety net status will get passed obviously this is an android 10 based custom rom yes as you can say it's get passed you can use all the payment applications each and every app going to working fine no problem regarding that and coming to benchmark results in this particular room in the geekbench course the single score is almost 500 i mean 499 and multi score is very good 1471 and the kernel you can see here is linux 4.14.117 perf kernel has been used this is very good kernel for android 10 based custom rooms and mio mind edition is very good with that and not just that android benchmark results also let me show you it's not the greatest score but still it's a very good score considering the snapdragon 675 254 380 i mean 2 lakh 54 380 and temperature raise was 2.8 degree celsius and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing you can judge the performance and power efficiency while testing the android benchmark results and these are the apps you get basic apps 
with all me video is also available in front you can disable that and use some other video and screen record results again as you can see print of options are given typical me us style and into mind settings you can see here contributors are there update channel support group is there action bar type you can change here changing big little and contacts you can header inside there and control center and status bar there are customization and battery icon style you can keep between me 11 and 12 and launcher also standard settings are given some of the options you can see here you can enable or disable from here and music player also you can choose here music management option are there these are a little bit of customization adding in mind settings and overall settings are also same enough as you can see wallpapers and personalization let's agree this themes one you get always on display also in this particular room you can see here the print of wallpaper collection has been given these are crystallization these are not just static wallpapers if you can download it i'll show you one among them let's see this one as you can see it have effect rather than normal static wallpaper and you get print of me 13 style wallpapers and windows 11 wallpapers are also play installed in this particular room that's cool thing and super live wallpapers are also given you can see here print are given all the super live wallpapers are given and there is a bug like you can't go from here always on display that's the only bug i have noticed and fonts effects notification alarm ringtones that's quite obvious here are the separate section for always on display you can choose from here you can choose different types of styles here plenty are available you can use one among them that's a quite interesting feature in any MIUI AOD display in the options and charging animation you can choose here off flow glow wave and these are the settings you get here regarding always on display and now we're moving into display there is a dark mode it's working fine as you can see it's in pitch black condition here you can see here it's very good to have this kind of option there is a refresh rate option but anyhow we have only 60 hertz panel here in the redmi note 7 pro and anti flicker mode is also given i don't think so it's required but there are options like that it's really cool to have such options it might make difference but i don't think so this is an lcd panel we don't need to have that and mode options you can individually choose the app if you don't want like for example i don't want chrome to be in dark mode then you can individually choose from here that's very cool thing if people like it and let me know in the comment section guys you use light mode or dark mode let me know it because i use in dark mode mostly it depends and let me know your choice of using in light mode or dark mode even the this notification control center also let me know will you use the old version or new version i seen people using old versions even though they have mio 13 i don't know why let me know in the comment section below and you get these kind of options here status bar options plenty are given here battery indicator from here you can choose here the plenty of options in customization and regarding this display i have explained and sound and vibration you get plenty of options here additional settings i mean you can if you want to mute the boot audio delete sound sequence out you can see here those things you can enable or disable from here and profile videos for incoming you can make it out whenever you will get a call you can make a video on the home screen and sound effects are also given you will get direct sound settings like me sound enhancer and equalizer and you can choose the headphone type and preset from here these are the common settings and into the home screen you get default launcher if you want to change the launcher you can change it. and system navigation there are buttons and gestures support here if you want you can keep it and minus one screen you can keep google discord or apple if you don't want anything you can keep it none also and double tap to lock screen fill cells of uninstalled apps and lock screen home screen layout don't show text home screen layout options it's plenty are given here you can see here 4 into 6 to up to 7 into 8 and icon style and uh, size also you can adjust from here you can hide the app icons from here print of options global icon animations are also given number of icon column you can read here print of options like show memory status and blur app previews are also given you can individually choose the app whichever you want to blur them whenever you are using like this as you can see if you want to blur as you can see the camera is blurred now this is a very handy feature few people know it few people forgot that it's very important and in even the in the display and even the dark mode let me show you that option again let me go into dark mode if you want like more dark options individual app for example chrome i don't want to show you in the dark mode then you can enable from here that's a very handy feature and switching between them are also very quick enough 
that's how it is and password and security if it's screen lock fingerprint unlock face unlock even the app locker is given i'll show you in the app section as you can see app lock permission dual apps manage app system app settings you can change the some of the core apps from here and password and security let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's very quick to use this fingerprint unlock generally in you can see the always on display also this how the always on display works on redmi note 7 pro with mind edition as you can see the fingerprint unlock speeds are very quick to unlock your smartphone not just that even the face unlock let me show you as you can see it's very quick just press the power button it will get unlocked as you can see it's very very quick this is really good in mio based custom rooms the fingerprint unlock and face unlock going to be very quick that's how it is and uh, let me go back to settings again additional settings here you get plenty of options again you can see a full screen display gesture shortcuts plenty are given you can take partial screen shot take a fingerprint and launch google assistant launch camera turn on torch you can make it out not just that even the button shortcuts are also given here plenty with the combination of buttons you can make it out the gestures and shortcuts from here quick ball it's a handy feature to have notification light you get plenty of options again and one handed mode accessibility menu is also working fine in this room that's not the problem here these are the options and screen time which is nothing but digital well being i will not use that and location privacy things everything is working fine as you can see the smoothness in the room is also very quick and the animations are also cool enough let me go back as you can see even this one swift and status is still in the memory the ram management also you can judge here it's how good the ram management in this particular rom and let me show you the charging animation later i will show you the bgm and end this video as you can see the always on display woke up this of the charging animation but if if you want you can change there are four presets as i already explained and let me show you let me see the bgm gameplay how it handles and what all the graphics settings you get this of the bgm i you get here into the settings into graphics you can see a smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here you won't get any higher fps count but the gameplay is very smooth if you know how to unlock high fps count in a bgm i like games then you are very good at making this as a gaming rom also there is little bit of lag just now i noticed but overall this could be a very good rom based on android 10 and this is the new gaming mode you get voice changer options are also given here and plenty of options you can see here you can record screen record from here that's how the actual gaming mode which it have and let me go into boot camp and see how it handles as you can see usually more people will come to land here let's see how it handles here with mio mind edition this is not mint edition there are two different variation in mind and mint D two different completely different they are i don't think so we have for redmi note 7 pro i will be testing for poco x there i have those kind of options like different roms let me see how we can handle okay i got some ar gun let's see whether i get any kills or not and loudness is also fine enough it's as loud as any other custom rom nothing is degraded in this particular rom just they would have given the high fps directly but that's not the case that's the only limitation what i noticed in this particular rom and obviously this is an android 10 based rom you can see here there was bit lag but i can able to make him little bit of damage now again coming into this tdm you can see here the graphics is set to same smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here and same gaming mode and loudness is also fine enough i can make get a kill at least it's fine the smoothness is very good but just the fps is stopping to play 
very good in this particular rom and uh, hope so you will like this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button by pressing the subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys a lot more effort is required to make this kind of videos and coming to verdict of this particular rom if you want to use a mua type of custom rom then you can try try this rom there are plenty of videos on redmi note 7 pro custom roms latest videos and old videos also you can go and watch in my youtube channel there is a separate playlist for redmi note 7 pro check that and uh, that's all guys in this video we'll see you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now